Hey, this is Eamon. I've got a really quick video for you today about split testing your landing pages and how important it is. Now, I spoke about this a little bit in my landing pages video, and I said that I'd make a split testing video, and this is it. So basically what split testing is, is basically what you do is that you change something on, on your landing page. So I'm going to get into this a bit more later. So maybe you change an image, maybe you change your headline, you know, maybe you change your call to action, some button colors, something like that. And then you basically create two variants, okay? You have the first one that you created, the first landing page, and the second one where you made the change. And what you do is that you run them against each other, and you send half of your traffic to one page and the other half to the other. And you run that for a given period of time, let's say about a month, or maybe you put a number on it. I'd recommend about 100 clicks. So once you've gotten 100 clicks, then you can make a decision. See which of them converted best which one of them had a higher conversion rate. And that way, that that's how you know that one, that change that you made, that's what made the difference because you only changed one thing. So then that's your winner. So then you take that one, then you run it in another split test in the next month, you know? Maybe you change something about that one. Basically, you keep doing this until you find something that, you know, basically you find like a winning combination, you're getting really high conversion rates. And ideally, you're always running some kind of um, split test. But that's the general idea is that you keep doing this so that you can incrementally increase your conversion rates. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in a little bit. The software that I use for this is Go High Level, but it, it looks the same on most softwares, okay? You're basically changing one element in the page, and you're going to have the two variants, and you can see the stats on both of them. You can see how many people clicked on this one and how many people converted, and basically just compare them yourself after that 30-day period or you know, that 100 clicks, whatever, which, whichever one you decide to do. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, now I'm inside the landing page builder and go high level. Now, like I said, you can, you might be using a different software for your website or landing page, but most of them will look like this. And if they're powerful enough, they should have this feature. So basically, this is what you do. You create a variation, all right, and you use the existing. So right now I'm basically just copying it. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit whatever, you know, um, element I'm choosing to, to test. So let's say, for example, that um, on this page, I'm going to change the button color. So the call button, I'm going to change that. So right now on this page, I think it's just, um, so the call button is obviously going to be on the mobile version. Yeah, so it's just uh, this, which is in underlined, um, in bold, and it's underlined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a button, and then that will be the change. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. But again, it doesn't really matter um, what it looks like. You can choose whatever element you want to test. But generally, it'll be these um, four elements. It'll be like the headline or the subheadline, the call to action, or the image. So for example, this image of the house right here, you can choose a different image. Maybe you want to put an image of um, you know, one of your trucks or maybe a picture of you, the the owner of the company, something like that. And the fourth one is the sticky header or sticky footer. I'll show you what that looks like as well. All right, so now I'm done making the button red. And this is basically all that it is. It's nothing complicated. And now, as you can see, this is my first page. This is the control. All right, you can see here, this is what it was like. And then here in the variant, I've got the red button. And then what you do from here, is you just um, make sure that you send 50% of your traffic to one page and 50% to the other. And then run that test for some time, find the winner, and then again, change one more thing. And then basically the winner goes here, all right? The winner, the winner goes here. So that'll, be, that'll become the control and the loser you can get rid of. So what you're gonna be doing by doing this is just incrementally increasing the conversion rate until you get it to a point where you're happy with. And obviously you should be making changes inside the campaign as well, but the two go hand in hand. Um, so this is if you're just changing the button color. Now let me show you the sticky header or footer that I talked about. Now the sticky header or footer basically just means that the number will be stuck to the top or the bottom of the page, even while the person scrolls. So that call button will still be there. Now this can increase conversions or you might not see a difference. That's why you need to run the test to find out. Let me show you what it would look like. All right, so this is the mobile view of the landing page. 
This is what somebody would see if they were looking at the page on their phone. So as you can see, I've got the call now button at the top and it's sticking to the top even as the person scrolls down. So it's always there. So whenever they decide to, you know, actually call, it's right there. They don't need to scroll through the page to find a, um, a call to action to click on. That's basically the idea of it. And um, yeah, this does increase conversion rates. You can either pin it to the top or you can have it be sticky at the bottom. Basically the same idea. And like I said, just do this, change just one thing at a time, and then pick your winner and keep running tests. Eventually you'll get into those higher conversion rates, like above 10%. And that's in the early days of the campaign, maybe like the first three months. Ideally you want to be aiming above 15%, around 20% is really good if everything is dialed in properly, including on the Google Ads side. All right, and then once that's done, just hit apply, and then it'll start sending 50% of the traffic to one page and 50% to the other, and you'll be able to see the stats and compare them. All right, that's everything I've got in this video. Like I said, it's pretty short. Um, if you need help with your Google Ads campaigns, you can get in touch with me through my website. But other than that, find this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.